Massachusetts, April 18, 1775. Alvaro was sent by Dr. Joseph Warren and told to ride to Lexington, Massachusetts to warn Samuel Adams and John Hancock that British troops were coming to arrest them for bringing tea to the colonies without paying a British tax. Paul Revere, go warn Samuel Adams and John Hancock in Lexington, Massachusetts that the British were coming to arrest them. Paul Revere left Boston at 10 p.m. and crossed the Charles River to Charleston in a rowboat. After crossing the river, Paul Revere borrowed a horse from Jeke Jodlar Kid and left Charleston at 11 p.m. and headed for Lexington, M.A. Can I borrow? Can I borrow your horse? Yes, of course. Thank you. From Charleston, he alarmed the countryside that the British were coming. The British! The British are coming! Ooh. Paul meets up with William Dawes. Wait. Paul Revere arrived at 12.05 a.m. in Lexington to warn Samuel Adams and John Hancock that the British were coming to arrest them. Guys, the British were coming to arrest you. Well, thanks for alarming us, Paul Revere. At 12.45 a.m., Paul Revere... Oh. Ooh. Paul meets up with William Dawes, another courier who is also carrying the same message that Paul Rev that that the British are coming. At 12:45 a.m., Paul Revere, William Dawes, and Dr. Samuel Prescott decided on their own to continue to Concord, Massachusetts, where weapons and supplies were hidden. Soon after leaving Lexington at 1 a.m., they were arrested by the British troops, where Prescott and Dawes escaped immediately. You're under arrest. So long, suckers. Captain, they're getting away. Paul Revere was kept then released at 2 a.m. Hey, dude, you're free. Yay! Revere will return to Lexington to witness the battle at 5 a.m. Man, look at the battle. We're winning. Yay! This is brought to you by What the Pia Lego Movies. Bye!